We're in a Cisco Catalyst switch, and I'm going to show you how to take a port from being a trunk mode back to being a switch mode. Trunk mode is when you're connecting uh, one port to another device, such as another switch, where multiple devices will be plugged into that one port. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to bring it back from a trunk port to a switch port, because it will just be connecting the one computer into that port. So as you can see in our previous video, uh, we went into the interface, gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 47. 1 is the number of the switch, and 47 is the port. And we put it into a trunk type of a situation. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go back to interface gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 47. And that's just the G there is just an abbreviation. Allows you to save a little bit of time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type switch port mode access. All right, so now it's back to being a switch port. Now, another thing you may want to do is also do spanning dash tree port fast. And what this allows you to do is to make the port live all the time. So if you plug something in and unplug it, you don't have to wait for it to come back up again. It's just always up. Uh, so that makes things go a little bit faster. Also, if the uh, computer itself has some sort of power saving feature on it where the NIC goes off, uh, then this also helps speed it, speed it back up once you bring your computer back up from sleep. Uh, so that's how we uh, change uh, a port on a Cisco Catalyst switch from trunk to switch port access.